Coming up, wanna know how to create an eye pop in app icon that will help you increase your downloads? Well, I'm gonna show you a dead simple way to do just that. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I got a question from Mayher. I think that's how I say it, said it right. But he asked, how do you make an eye-catching app icon? Now, I'm going to point to a previous video towards the end of this video that will show you three ways to increase downloads organically without changing the keywords. And that's where the question is coming from. How do you really create an eye-catching app icon? Because in that video, I really talk about how an app icon can really drive more downloads for you without really touching any of the keywords or changing the screenshots. It's one of the first things that users see. So it's highly important. Now, if you're not a designer, which I'm assuming you're not because you're watching this video and you have no idea how to create an eye-catching icon yourself, I'm gonna show it to you right now. First and foremost, you want to look at other app icons, okay? So here's what I did. I'm on Sensor Tower right now, and I like to use Sensor Tower because it's easy to visualize everything, but I just put in Workout. So I'm gonna assume it's for a Workout app, and I wanna see which icons are showing up. So what colors are there? I think we see white, we see red, pink. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, these are the icons that are out there that I might be competing with. So how do I make my app icon stand out in this sea of icons? Now, generally it's gonna be like the first five that you're really competing with because stats say if you get anything lower than that ranking, you're probably not gonna get any downloads anyways. So I really try to focus on the first five four or five, the top 10, let's say. All right, next we're gonna do is, now that we understand what color scheme, what else is out there, we're gonna go on a site called Dribble. Now that's dribble with three Bs.com. And here's what I've done. I've put in the search bar, workout app icon. And here is where you can get some huge inspirations on what a great eye-catching app icon looks like. So I'm just gonna scroll a bit just to show you all these great app icons. I love this guy. Ram Motion, these guys do tremendous work. So I would just click on them, but I love this app icon. Somebody sort of copied that. Then you have this kettlebell, you have these weights, you have these weights, you have this one. So this kind of looks like a workout logging app. I love that design, looks really crisp and clean. Love this. So now that you have this, right, you can talk to a designer. You can find them on Upwork. You can find them on various places. I have used Design Pickle actually to get app icons done. And all I do is say, hey, I really like this app icon. So for example, I might pick this one. I really like this app icon, but can we see it in you know, a red color or a white color or a black color, like different colors? Try it in different colors. Here's some inspiration that you can use. So if you can provide your designer with this type of inspiration, three or four different app icons that you really like, then they'll come back with some really good looking ones. Now, how do you know the three that you got back from your designer, three or four, is actually eye-catching? Well, here's a dead simple way to do that. We're gonna use Facebook. That's right, we're gonna use our Facebook friends and put a photo like this together and just poll our friends. So we're gonna lay out the three or four icons that you have created from your designer. You're just gonna put A, B, C, and you're just gonna ask your Facebook friends, hey guys, I've got a new app, here's what it does. Let me know which one is your favorite A, B, or C in the comments. And trust me, you're gonna get so much feedback from your friends that you're probably gonna need somebody to go in there and really tally up the scores. But here you can see we got some great scores from people and then you can decide which one is gonna be the best one moving forward. I found that polling my Facebook friends is a great way of figuring out which icon is the best to go with. It's cheap, it's free, frankly, and we've actually gotten a few different Apple features 
because of the feedback that we've gotten through Facebook. So it's a great way to do it free and to pull your friends and ask them which icon they like best. That's it, guys. Let me know what was your favorite part or which icons you really like that you've seen. I'd love to put something together for that. So put them into the comments below. And then also, if you got any questions, make sure you leave a comment in any one of my videos so that I can answer them for you. And if you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you like and subscribe and do all the things that all the YouTubers are asking you to do. So make sure you do that. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. If you want to check out the video on how to increase organic downloads without touching your keywords, then check out the top video. And if you want to learn how to create amazing screenshots for your app store presence, well, check out the bottom video right there. Boom.